Hello viewers, um, in this video we are going to see how to create library management program. Um, so first of all open the Microsoft Access, then click on Bank Database, then enter the file name, click on create. Now to create the database, okay, you have to have tables and forms and queries and report. So in this video, we are going to see only how to create tables and the forms. So table is already there. Go to the view tab here. Click on design view. Enter the table name. Let's suppose student info. ID, let's leave it to automatic number, student name, the data type here should be short text, grade is supposed to be number, class, short text, date of birth, date and time. We can also include profile picture. Profile picture. It has to be attachment. Now, right click here and click on save. Right click and close. Now you have the student table. Similarly, you will create the table for the book. You'll go here to create tab, table. Then again, go to view tab view in the ribbon then design view now type here book info now enter all the field names and all the data types that you are supposed to enter like ISBN will make it number or large number then book title, author, publisher, okay. And if we need any other um, field name or data type, we can add that as well. So now save it and close it. After creating the tables, you have to create the forms. Click on create. Click on form wizard. Now to create the form for the student info, include all of these. In this project, we'll just include all of these fields for the form. So click here, click next, next, click on modify and finish. Now you can adjust all these fields. Let me bring profile picture at the top. Over here. Now, if you want to view your form, you have to go to the form design tab and in the form design, you have to go to the view. In the view, you can see here form view. This is how your form for the student info looks like, but it does not have the buttons here. <coughs> to include the buttons, again, go to the view, design view. In the design view, you have to click in the controls here. These are the controls. In the controls, click on the button here, this one, button. Click on it, bring it down, hold and drag, or just click there. Now, let's suppose I want to include the button for save. So I will look here for the save. It's not here in the navigation, it's in the operation, record operation. So I'll click on the save record, this one. 
next you can choose the picture whichever you want this one or this one I prefer this one next finish similarly let's do it for the for the quit application record okay quit application you can click here in the again button click here a dialog box will open you can see here application and this is quit application next next finish if you want to include other uh, buttons like delete button delete the record or uh, print the record and all that again the same way you can go to the buttons here click here then find the record which you want with the actions that you want let's suppose I want to find the delete record the button for the delete record click on it next next okay let's suppose I want to have this one trash finish fine after this just save it and click on view form view this is how your forms look like similarly you can create the form for the book info let's enter the record now right now there is nothing in the table I'll just double click here this one table info I'll click on the table table you can see here there is no record right so what I will do now I will try to enter the record first of all let's enter a picture double click here it will show you here the attachment attachment click on add now select a picture if you have a picture you can select from there let's suppose I'll select this picture from there and open then okay and then student name let's let's consider Abdullah Muhammad okay grade 11 class B date of birth you can choose from here or you can enter okay so I'll try to enter from here like 30 1999 fine now click on save button here this is the save record save it okay now I'll just close it and see whether it has been added or not in the table this is the table right double click in this table you can see here 1 Abdullah Muhammad grade 11 B date of birth is added and the attachment is also added here one attachment and that's it We'll continue the project in the upcoming semester, inshallah. Thank you, boys. Thank you so much.